Hi, today I am going to talk about furlough, but this time for the self-employed grant. So it's slightly different actually, because um, the rules are different in how we apply for it, and also in terms of what you can and can't do. So the starting point is if you're eligible, HMRC are going to contact you. And I'm aware that actually some people have already been contacted by text message and by email. If you haven't received one of those messages, we're told that they are going to be contacting you. But if you want to work it out yourself, you can easily do this on the government website. I've put a link in the bottom um, for you to just have a look and check if you're eligible. In order to do that, you need your national insurance number and UTR number. Um, and then you also need, uh, if you are eligible, your bank details and, and, and you go through the claim that way. Originally, the government had said that you wouldn't need to do anything. But actually what they're doing is they're contacting people saying you might be eligible. And then you've got to go through the process online. So it's definitely worth having a look at um, the stuff online to see whether you're eligible. Um, if you are eligible, it then tells you you're eligible, but you can't make a claim until this date. And then you've got to log back in and bring your claim. So um, I've gone through this um, with someone recently just to check uh, the format and everything. And actually it does. Um, it's quite easy to use. So definitely have a look. In terms of eligibility, you need to be self-employed, um, have filed your accounts into 2018, 2019, and then take an average of your earnings over the past three years. Now, you have to have had a profit of less than £50,000 in order to be eligible. And the grant is capped at 7500 That represents uh, uh, just three months earnings effectively at a capped rate of 2500 which is exactly the same as the amount that um, employed individuals get. It is taxable. It's an income. So you make sure that you um, declare that on your next self-assessment um, and it's non-repayable because it's a grant. So hopefully um, that's a little bit help of help for you in terms of whether or not you're eligible. But like I say, you can check individual um, eligibility on the government website today. Also, just a little um, side note, which I thought was really interesting, is that individuals who are self-employed and receiving this grant can also receive universal credit and they can also continue working. And I think that's really important because furloughed individuals or directors are not allowed to work. So it's really um, helpful that they've allowed the grant to come in for those individuals who are self-employed, regardless of whether they're still working, but also um, having regard for the fact that they are probably on universal credit at the moment. A lot of sole traders are fully closed down. And even if they are doing a small amount of work, that doesn't uh, impact on them at being eligible for the grant. So you just need to go on the government website, have their UTR number, your national insurance number ready and go through that process. And it's really, really straightforward. If you've got any questions, uh, do get in touch. It's not employment law. It's definitely not my um, area of expertise, but I just wanted to disseminate some of that information and hopefully you found it helpful. The next video I'm going to do is more employment law based um, on directors and furlough and what they can and can't do because it's slightly different to employees. So we've got all these different categories and what do they mean? Um, and so actually what I want to do is just make it really clear what directors can do so that they don't fall foul of their Company Act obligations, their fiduciary duties, but also so that they don't end up um, potentially not being allowed to have the uh, HMRC job retention scheme um, rebate. So. Get in touch if you've got any questions, leave your comments below and, and good luck guys, hope some of you get the self-employed um, grant.